This is Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to update the EPUB file for your Amazon KDP book. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it, follow me. Let's get started. This is my Amazon KDP dashboard, the bookshelf. I've been an Amazon KDP publisher for many years, uh, more than 10 years. I've used the program a lot. So I'm going to share some of my expertise about making a quick update to an EPUB file. So basically what you need to do this is a, an, a new EPUB file and you need to be able to log into your Amazon KDP account. So I'm assuming you have those assets and you're ready to go. So this is the book I'm going to update. Uh, it's Twitter in 30 minutes, third edition. What I'm gonna do to update the EPUB file, this is the book file that has all the content for the Kindle book. Click on this icon that says more actions, there's like three dots. Select edit ebook content. And you'll come to this particular page. Note that it says, Manuscript Twitter 3E 2018 EPUB uploaded successfully. So this happened, I actually, up, the last time I touched this file was five years ago, and it's showing me the old message from that. So I haven't done any changes since 2018. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click up, Upload eBook Manuscript, and I need, to find, I need to find it. So let's see here. I think it is here. Twitter in 30 minutes, third edition, EPUB, yeah. So here is the new file. So I've already prepared that. I'm going to open it and it's uploading it. So this is a big file. It's actually more than six megabytes. It might take a little bit of time, not only to upload it, but also to preview it. Uh, to complete uploading your file for pre-order, um, and then it says submit for pre-order. That, that's not relevant for me because this book is already published, so I'm not, I'm not gonna be submitting it for pre-order. So I've done that. It gives me a message that this updated file has been uploaded. That's good. We are converting your file. This may take a few minutes. You can download your book after conversion complete. So what this is talking about is you have the option to actually preview the preview the new file on Amazon KDP. I do recommend doing that uh, because you want to make sure that the book looks okay in the previewer. Even better if you can download the file from Amazon KDP and then sideload it onto an Amazon Kindle just to make sure it looks okay. I do that all the time when I'm publishing a new book as a professional publisher. So those are just some basic things. It's beyond the scope of this particular uh, video. So I'm gonna skip that particular step, but you can see that's running the quality check. This could take up to a minute. I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna click save and continue. It'll go to the next page, which is the pricing page. And make sure you follow this last step. Click publish your Kindle ebook. You have to do that. And it's done. So it may take up to 72 hours for the changes to appear. That's fine. I can live with that. But basically, I'm all set here, and I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please take a moment to like it. If you go to leanmedia.org, that's my official website, click on blog or video, search for KDP, and you'll see all kinds of other posts and videos that I have about getting the most out of the Amazon KDP Kindle Direct Publishing Program.